Mr. Big Box, 226. And the same tire at Pumpelli Tire, 169. Well, how about that? Not only do we have great prices, we have the best trained sales and service people in the business. Come by one of your convenient Pompeii Tire stores for that great personal service you've come to expect. Hi, I'm Rachel Whitaker, sports writer at the Lake Charles American Press, coming to you with this week's Prep Football Roundup. I'm coming to you today from LaGrange High School, where I cover the St. Louis LaGrange game Friday night. If you saw LaGrange's stats, you might not think they had much of a chance to win. Try 15 penalties in the first half alone and four interceptions by senior quarterback Joseph Spruill. So, so LaGrange had more penalties than they did points at halftime when they trailed St. Louis 21-14. But the Saints didn't score again and Spruill engineered three touchdown drives and as LaGrange won the game 29-21. St. Louis had chances to capitalize on LaGrange's miscues, but the Saints fumbled twice and senior kicker Harrison Flint, normally Mr. Reliable, missed field goals of 45 and 50 yards. Spruill finished with 166 yards and the game-winning touchdown pass was a 43-yarder to Freddie Williams. When I talked to LaGrange coach Joel Sullen after the game, he told me he had a conversation with Spruill at halftime about his poor play. Spruill asked him to have faith in him as he promised to get better in the second half. And Sullen agreed to stay with Spruill, his senior quarterback who he's known for four years and been a starter for two years. The move paid off, obviously, as LaGrange is now 3-0 in district play. St. Louis is two and one. In other District 4-4A news, Washington Marion also has two district wins as the Charging Indians shut out Opelousas on Friday night. Melvin Jones cemented himself further as an offensive threat as at both quarterback and running back. This time he rushed for 200 yards and had two partners in crime in Julius Fontenot and O'Shea Jackson. Washington Marion also had a, a family connection going on Friday night as Robert Hendricks caught a touchdown pass from his brother, Ronnie. Sulphur and Barr both won Friday night fairly easily. Sulphur quarterback Bryce Gardner and running back Brian Walker accounted for three touchdowns each on senior night against Como. And they've got Barb up next. Barb lost sophomore phenom quarterback Kenan Fontenot to injury in the first half. But the Bucks offense really didn't stop that much as backup Ryan Nolan came in and along with running back Courtney Gallantine and jack of all trades Trey Quinn, they were able to knock off Sam Houston 48-7. The Broncos have now lost five straight games. And there's a four-way tie atop District 3-5A as Barb, Acadiana, Sulphur, and Karen Crow are all tied for first place. And now here's a look at the rest of the Week 8 game. streaks to note to close this week's roundup. Elton's seven game unbeaten run is over as the Indians fell to Oberlin Friday night 28 to 12. 
Oberlin has now won 14 straight district games in Class 1A. And there are no longer any winless teams in the Lake area, as both Iota and Hamilton won their first games of the season under their new coaches. Thanks for joining us again for this week's Prep Football Roundup. Check AmericanPress.com this week for our Friday forecast of Week 9. And there are only two more weeks in the regular season, so the playoffs are rapidly approaching. And as always, pick up an American Press print edition daily for a look at scores, features, highlights, and analysis from high school, college, and professional sports. For now, from LaGrange High School, I'm Rachel Whitaker.